I think it's time that we do a little bit of detective work. If we look left of the fan and right of the photograph of the pretty lady and just above the keyboard we see a computer monitor with the name Crime Scene Cleaner. Well that is the name of the game here today and I must admit that I really love a lot of these life simulators. Games that don't necessarily match what you would expect to find from something like for example Microsoft Flight Simulator or The Sims but some things that are a little creepy or dark or dirty or just weird and I really love these games a lot. If you're a big fan of the channel, you probably know that and have seen other games like Coin Game and maybe even uh, things like Hobo Tough Life or something a little more popular known, of course, as My Summer Car. All these games simulate life and existence and survival in many different weird and wacky ways. Hell, in My Summer Car, you literally can't answer the phone during a thunderstorm, otherwise you'll get electrocuted and die. But of course, you also have to drink and eat and not crash your little motorbike or mini bike as you drive around the roads of Finland. But there's also other games out there, like for example, House Flipper and Pressure Wash Simulator 2. That's also really, really good. We played those long ago here on the channel, and this one could be a, a big o banger. This is one I've been waiting for for a long time, and now Crime Scene Cleaner has another prologue. After I think having a previous prologue slash demo, I may have missed it at the time, but this is one that I've kept on my radar for a while. So let's get right back in to Crime Scene Cleaner coming out sometime soon. I don't know when, but again, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and do click or tap join and become a member right now to take advantage of all those awesome perks, emotes, and more that you can use in our lovely live streams with our lovely community. So if you're a member of our community, spam your favorite bear or rather other emote down below, and let's enjoy the show. Let's go. Well, here we go. Hello? It's open. Just come in. Hi, is Mark back home already? Mark? He should be in a few minutes. Do you want something to drink while waiting? No thanks. Oh! Oh! Oh, we get to see the crime! That's interesting. I guess he had to drink anyway. Mom! No! No way. Run, kid. Wow. That went from zero to a thousand real quick. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, find your phone. <gasps> oh, Dexter, my what are you doing up, boy? Hi, Dexter. Interesting reference. Good kitty. Okay, let's see. Hello? I need your services, man. Son of a bitch was having an affair with my wife. So I just offed him and his entire family. The problem is I didn't really think it through, so you'll need to get rid of the surveillance footage as well. I'll send you the address over email. I just need to wash this blood off me first. That doesn't sound <laughs> good, but duty calls. Why would you admit to a crime like that to call someone and basically say everything that you did? That's crazy. So yeah, we're not going to be cleaning up a crime scene after the police get there, but before. We're uh, hiding the evil deeds of... Uh, evil people i suppose what was it is that a duck oh my duck. god all right this game is such a distraction for me <laughs> dogs and ducks already ew and it's dusty here we probably have dust in our ducks we need to clean our ducks before the ducks get dusty ah to the basement all right accept a mission from your computer well this is not creepy at all with all the oh sir that is dangerous storing oil and stuff in cardboard boxes with oily rags you're asking for trouble well we'll have to get our ducks in a row anyway let's check the pc Oh, doctor's appointment reminder. We'll have to put that on our list. Grave renovation and a cleaning service needed ASAP. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Pedro Rascal. I'm glad uh, that somebody has uh, given their name, their full name. Interesting. Okay, so there's five bodies from this scene. It's a medium size, and we'll get $15,000 if we complete it. So let's do it. The house of Mr. Castle. All right. Nice to know not everyone thinks I'm a loser. Oh, there's even lore to this game. It's not just a r m random, mindless simulator. Well, I guess all these games kind of try to have lore. Like, for example, Power Wash Sim even tries to create some messages that you can read during the ongoing uh, missions. Wow. Ducks everywhere. What's going on? Elena. She's still in the hospital. Oh, our daughter. Looks like there's all these hidden uh, tracks around. Oh, there's me. I didn't give my permission for my likeness in this game. Time to sue. 
Alright, this is cool. At least there's not a giant stuffed bear, although I suspect those two are up to something. Okay, where are we heading? Ooh, this is where the magic happens. This is the wizard's tower. Nice. What were we doing? Oh god, is that mold? What is going on? That, uh, <laughs> we're gonna need to call somebody about that. Okay. Well, at least we have a fully modeled house. That impresses me, the fact that they've actually modeled like an apartment that we can return to. Which kind of makes this more of a life sim. I assume that's the front door. But we have a truck? No way. That's cool. A uh, land shaker. Nice. Looks like an old Ford Ranger. Okay, so we're down here. Southern part of town. We're heading west to the nice part of town with the, uh, the old, uh, across the old river where all the mansions are. Let's get started. Wow, they've modeled getting into the truck. And whoa, we have a manual transmission? This game just keeps getting better. It'll be a long night. Yeah, Kowalski, it will. Although I don't know who Pedro was. A calm before the storm. It was supposed to be a little cleaning trip for a not so little rich man's villa, earning myself some extra cash from a new client. Instead, it was the beginning of a devastating chain of events. Interesting. This is already giving me Thief Simulator vibes, like, immediately seeing some of this. Also, it's Chapter 6, so I guess the first few missions are, like, a little tutorial to warm up and get us up to this point and set things up. But uh, the prologue starts immediately here. Love the leaves and stuff falling. That's nice. Time to look for the bodies. Yeah, I guess. Open our codex, huh? What are you people looking at? All right. Let's, uh... Head on in. Wait a minute. That was a dumpster there. We'll have to take note of that for later. Location unlocked. Swimming pool. All right. There's something over there, too. Whoa. Holy fuck. What a bloodbath. No kidding. Whoa. This is like a scene of a hitman crime. Like, literally from the game. That would be awesome. That'd be a great game. Well, I guess that's this game. Oh, man. What an absolute mess. All right, collect evidence, get rid of the trash, wipe all the blood, and empty the pool. Also, there was a little door over here. So this could be a whole different area. Oh. Well, that's a way to empty the pool, then, and possibly refill it. Okay. Locked. Maybe the pool boy has a key on him. Was he dead, too? Damn, this guy killed everybody in the, like, Tri-County area. All right. Let's try to go inside. Watch for the blood. Won't budge. Looks like some kind of electronic lock. Okay. All right, well, let's start at the top, then. Let's collect evidence. So, uh, what would be evidence for this crime? The gun somewhere? Bullet casings? A knife, maybe? The guy ran out of ammo? Well, I don't see anything that sticks out like a sto uh, sore thumb, so I guess we'll start cleaning, then. Garbage can it is. All right. Ooh, a donut. I'm hungry. Oh, there we go. Ooh, wine bottles. And footprints everywhere. Man, this guy was truly messy. Bro, when you grab stuff, it actually, like, puts it in your hand and then into the trash. They put a lot of work into this game. All the fine details. Oh, there's some bullet casings? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'd say that's evidence. But not, I guess, the main evidence. The murder weapon, perhaps? This guy looks like he used an assault rifle. That's not a handgun. That's like 5.56 or 7.62. Okay. Oh, there's more here. You know what's funny? All this blood and all this, like, gunshots, but yet no broken glass at all. Also, I heard the police. They better not be coming. All right, so one Just by one. Just shot for the first time. Managed to walk a few steps and fell into the water. Oh, so there's a body in there? Oh, yeah, there's the body. Wow, okay. I'm going to throw the trash out. Let's see. There was the dumpster I saw. I can't use that. Um, how do I change trash bags here? Oh, we have additional tools, lamps, detergents, buckets, sponges, pressure washer, and mops too. Okay. But I'm not sure how to take the bag out. Collect. Oh, pull out the bag with right click. But I still need to throw the bag out. So can I grab it with my hands? Ah, okay. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. Hey, it's my first day. Look, it's my, my first day cleaning up crime. Okay? I haven't committed a felony before. I can't use the dumpster. All right, it's a red herring in this investigation. We'll just leave it here. 
See, this is where I get in trouble. Closing doors behind myself, trying to do the right thing and put trash where it belongs. All wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of all these things wrong. Anyway, looks like there was a bunch more stuff over here. But none of it seems to be wrong. What is that? Money? Stealing. Oh, can we... No, don't mind if I do, really. Yoink. You know, nothing wrong with just uh, it's a, just a mandatory service fee. You know, just a small small price to pay for our services. Really, not any worse than what uh, video game companies are doing right now with deactivating games that you've paid sixty plus dollars for, and then also the DLCs and taking them away from you in the hopes that you'll continue to buy their products and keep smiling while they basically uh, lie to your face. No, nothing, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, how much more evidence? Oh. No, the biggest crime. Cheese pizza. Oh, that's it? Cheese? No toppings at all? Uh, pineapple on there would have been at least been a little bit better. Alright, that's done. Okay, let's pull out the trash bag if we can. Nope, okay. So, uh, I see there's a collect multiple button too. We'll use that in the future. Wipe down all the blood. That's probably going to be with the mop. Let's try that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, man knows how to mop. Look at that. Now, I, I'd imagine we'd be using, I don't know, bleach or something. Isn't that what they always use in, like, forensic files and stuff? It's like a uh, woman's husband disappears. Living room's completely uh, dou doused in bleach. Oh. Uh, how do I clean this now? Uh, nope, that's not the way to do it. Sponge. I need to learn. Do I have to buy a new one? Ah, oh, the mop. Oh, we can. Oh, we can use the squeeze mop thingy, like a bucket. Okay. Then do I use that detergent? Uh. Increases the cleaning surface, reduces the rate of the mop getting dirty. Wait, how do I put it on there, though? Mm, I'm missing something. These codexes are a little long. But we could try this instead. I don't want to read. I want to clean. It's satisfying. I'm not here for a damn Goosebumps novel. And I'm a YouTuber. We never read. I was screaming at my screen. It was right there, YouTuber. You know you're like that. Don't lie. Wow, handprints too? Damn. Wipe all the blood. We're only like 28% in. Can you believe that? Alright, let's see. I'm missing something. I gotta find another piece of the puzzle. You can fill buckets with water and detergents. I guess maybe what we should do is take this and put it over here then we can do this it's the last thing I could think of okay looks like it worked <laughs> cool I like how this game uh, makes us do that too it's just like that in Vasura cleanup simulator good stuff good combo well look at how messy this damn pool is damn Oh, there's, like, blood stains in the pool, too. Although you'd think it would just be in the water. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and empty the pool. So there was a way to do that here. Uh... Oh, that's emptying. Ah, good. Perfect. Okay, so now we can get back to work with the mop. Well, was there two mops? No, just one. But let's add a detergent. And let's uh, give it a little resistance. There we go. Nice. <laughs> it's like moving around a little bit. Oh, boy. This is a mess. All right, let's clean it all up. Satisfying, though. 
So this is basically Power Wash Simulator for anybody who's up late at night watching like the uh, in, like the interview series on YouTube where they, I don't know, somebody gets interviewed and it's like, John's hands are palm up, which means that he's probably trying to convince somebody of something. He's trying to be non-threatening. Pretty interesting for someone who just murdered his family. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Fishy, fishy. All right, time to clean. Well, that did a pretty good job, that detergent. That was a lot more than I was expecting to clean. All right, let's go again. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was hoping I could move that by hand, but no need. This saves us time. Well, let's make a little path to the body. Oh, there's the keys. Is that the uh, pool boy? Workshop. Okay. Well, now we're finding a series of clues, although we're not necessarily a, an officer. But we are kind of an investigator. Now we got to clean out the water again. Okay. So, how do we throw this out? Just right click? Or wait, how? Wait, can I, um... Put down the bucket at the water source to replace contaminated water. Oh, that's weird. We don't have to, like, throw it out. I'm, I'm thinking of, like, how we would actually conceal evidence like that. And so you'd think, even if you cleaned everything up and they found one little bit of blood under, like, a tile or something like that in the pool, it'd be like, how the hell did that little bit of blood get there? Uh, that would be the question they would have to ask. Like, why is that a, why is that a thing? Let's go with the other detergent, the strength. <laughs> it's like pee. Okay, let's clean it up. Clean, clean, clean. Sorry, sir. Just pardon me. I, this feels like Hitman. But like, this would be Hitman's secondary job. Okay, well, let's see if we can get this body out of here. One shot in the back, one in the head. He didn't really stand a chance. No, he did not. All right. Cleaner sense, Q. Oh, right, we can see all the blood and stuff. Uh, are we going to throw this in the dumpster? I keep coming back to the dumpster because I, <laughs> I keep seeing that indication over there. Well, wait a minute. We did get a key. Let's see if we can use it on this. We can. Anything in here to uh, dispose of a body? I see some loose cash. All right, sir, so we'll just have you hang out here for a little bit. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll clean that up. Oh, what's this? Mr. Castle, can I talk to you for a second? About what? Um, you and Bianca Brenner. What are you trying to... I saw you two last night. Even took some photos. But your wife doesn't need to see him. I just... Shut up. Not here. Let's go inside. One affair too far, Mark. Okay. There's our evidence. And we got some boxes and stuff, but a little bit of cash here. You know how it is. You just leave a couple cool hundred dollars in the in the workshop. No biggie. What's this? That should open the main door. Ah, good. Ooh. I hear a piano. I'll be back for you, sir. Okay. So back to the mop. Mop and bucket. There she is. All right. Almost dirty. There she is. All right. And a little bit more. So I'm liking this way more than I was expecting. For those of you who uh, like mundane brain off simulators, with a little bit of a twist and or horror games, then this is definitely one for you. I mean, this is on the on par with like Visage or something like that with how that begins. You know, multiple murders right at the start. Ah, she's dirty. Well, we still got a little bit of little bit of mop capacity. Well, let's bring this back up. Now, I'm hoping that in this game we get to purchase different type of detergents and tools and upgrades. Kind of be cool, like a phasmophobia style thing where you're buying different things to uh, get through the crime scenes or at least do it so you can get more efficient with things 
you know, in other words, a better broom so it's less uh, cleaning. Let's go with the uh, resistant again. Okay, we're at 95%. We did see some blood on the window. Oh, no, that was through the door. Oh, here. There's just a little bit right here. All right, let's clean things up one more time. Nice. Kind of hard to see that stuff, so you do need to use that Q key. Q key, Q Q. Uh, we're at 96%. The last thing's just a little bit more blood. Oh, it probably is around the body from the guy that I threw. Maybe that's the thing. Uh-huh. Sorry, sir. Get you cleaned up. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. We'll uh, have to figure out how to dispose of bodies a little bit later. Kids want to see a dead body? All right. Hello? Any dead body in here? Oh my god. Make it look nice and clean. Damn, dude. Alright. Anything in here? Money. Oh. Another uh, cassette tape, but I don't know why. Oh boy. I'm not, I'm not even going to go in there. Not even going to go in there. How do I turn this racket off? There we go. All right, uh, where's the uh, bucket? Here we go. Uh, hello, ma'am. I'll uh, just be a few minutes. So if I hold left click, it's supposed to pick up multiple. Oh, that's interesting. We mark them. Just like in Assassin's Creed when you mark... The target's like that. You can click and hold. That's cool. Oh, my God. That's cool. All right. We'll leave another trash bag right there. Make it nice and tidy. I'll go grab the other one until I figure out where I'm bringing it. Maybe the back of the truck. Also, I think I'd want to... You know what's interesting is this guy's smart. He's not cleaning up everything. He's leaving some mess around, right? Like he's leaving some bottles around, some broken glass. Oh, you can make a mega bag. Look at that. Just combine the two together. All right. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And another full bag. Oh, look at that. The mega bag. <laughs> the mega extendo. Okay, let's put this back up here. What an interesting game, man. I'm just, I'm fascinated with this already. I don't like <laughs> what I'm doing. It's making me uncomfortable. I'd rather do the right thing, but in this case, I guess it's our mission objectives. Attacked by surprise. Probably had no idea somebody's after her husband. Yeah, I guess not. But she let him in. She was like, oh, hey, uh, you know, come on in. Like, she was really chill about it. She was like, oh, yeah, uh, my husband's not home. Come come on in. Would you like a drink? And it's like, ma'am, you don't know this guy. And your daughter's home. You need to be, like, extra protective. Someone coming over at night like that? It's not Santa Claus. Ooh, hello. If you'd ever bought these, maybe you could have saved your family. Knife my yeah, wife. Probably not. Ah, what else is dirty? I do like how we have to also put the chairs back into a, a neat position. Is there a way to rotate? There it is. Oh, and they snap nicely. Look at that. There we go. And we need one more chair for that. Ooh, this is going to need to be wiped down. We'll get a sponge for all that. We'll uh, clean everything up off the ground. Put everything back to where it should be. She's kind of blocking the way. What is this, ma'am? Tried to make that call. Oh. But ran out of time. 
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to, uh, oh, my, oh, okay. Oh, ma'am, I am so, ma'am, I am so sorry. I know you're dead, but I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure how to... Multiple gunshot wounds. The attacker clearly went off the deep end. Did he blame her for her husband's misbehavior? Oh, boy. All right, I know this is messy, but I'm going to put these two bodies together. I'm going to collect them all, like uh, Beanie Babies in the 90s. Uh, wait. Equip Oozinator? What the hell is that? Air purification complete. What? There's nothing to do here. <laughs> oh. Uh, this thing purifies the... domination the of a world. Hello? Big Evil Smith. Death that to the foul germs. Okay. That's weird. I'm gonna do the floor, uh, weird machine. You do you. Okay. Right, I'm just gonna, just gonna be doing the floors now. Oh boy. I still smell blood. Done. One step closer to domination of the world. Okay. That's nice. Where did I put my mop thingy? There we go. Alright, there's the bucket. More clean. Man, they did a good job with the blood in this game. Uh, not that I would know. Okay, just a little bit more. She's full up again. I think we have to change the water. Yep. Okay, let's go back to that machine. Oh wait, there's a fresh water source in here. That's the bathroom here. Judgment day is coming soon. Oh. Maybe the other room? No way through without finding that key first. Oh. Well, I'll just use this out here then. We need another key. I like how the game is locking areas out as if we have to kind of look around a little bit for clues. That's a nice touch. Okay. Oh, I guess we could also use the numbers on the keypad. I like bringing up the whole wheel, though, because then I get to see all my tools. I like seeing all the tools, really. I do like the fact that they put in so many different things. And again, it reminds me of like Thief Simulator with things like drones and mini cameras and lock picks and I think stethoscopes for breaking open uh, safes and whatnot. Uh, these, some of these chairs might tip over, but uh, I think we're aight. Okay. And let's get a sponge. Okay, don't see anything else around the immediate area. Oh, here we are. Ooh, we're gonna have to tidy this up. What the hell happened? Like, this person got shot and then, like, went, went for this empty cabinet and opened all the doors. Wait a minute. Maybe the killer was looking for something? Okay, sir, if you don't behave, I'm putting you back in the box. Oh, a little bit of blood there. All sorts of crazy things happen at a crime scene, I guess. Okay. Oh, a laptop. Is that evidence? 
Hmm. What is this? A little bowl. That goes over there. No, this whole cabinet's sort of wrecked. I can't put it back like that. Oh, there's going to be damage on these cabinets. Cleaning comes before fixing. I know no fear. Hey, what's that? It's a knob. Okay. Back where it belongs. There we go. Nice. Ah, oh, man. Imagine the replayability just on this prologue, too. You could go in and clean things in different orders. Find, like, a way that you like more. Based on the game's rules. Judgment day is coming soon. Okay. Good. It looks like we need a couple chairs around here too. Wow, this this goes on forever. Eh, let's get a sponge. Oh, it's like a scratch off. Just like doing a scratch off. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I, I lost. No, I won five dollars. Yeah. A little more up there. And a little bit more there. That looks better. Alright, back in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell? Time for cleaning. Time for cleaning. There is still some work to do. Okay, you're done. <laughs> what the hell? That is the coolest device. All right, let's clean the rest of this room. I'll stop here at this border. I'll leave the rest for the uh, next part. All right, clean off again. Oh, is that a little candle in the middle? Couldn't even tell everything was so messy. Whoa, the bucket tipped over. Oh, that's cool. If you tip over the bucket, it actually leaves a little bit of a, a mess. The sewer cleanup sim. That was a good one. More water. Oh yeah, give me that one. Okay. Back inside. That'll do. Oof. Alright, still a mess in the kitchen. Ooh, door's ajar. Oh boy. Oh, we'll go down there later. Okay. Let's go with this. Now oh, we're going to need to clean this. Yep, sponge full again. I like how it turns angry. Look at how that sponge looks angry. It still looks angry. Okay, using my uh, cleanup sense, I don't see much more. So let's put this back. And the chairs. see one hmm I don't see much of a mess out here either thankfully is that 
the surveillance room? Oh. This message didn't age well. He knows about us. Stay safe, my dearest. Okay. I guess we'll have to find the other chairs here later on. Can I fix the wine bottle? Okay, that's better. All right, let's keep cleaning. The easiest thing to do is just try to clean the floor. Heck, Mogul Monthly. Uh, that was our guy, I guess. No telling if he's dead. If I see the chair. That's oh, a little aquarium. How nice. There we go. All right, what's next? Let's bring our little bucket in here. Ooh, couple more thingies here and there. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, dispose of the bodies, dispose of trash bags, uh, move the furniture back to its place, delete surveillance recordings, and wipe blood. Oh, there's some blood. Well, I'd say let's go into that room. We'll uh, obviously come back. There's some more, but I'll move on when we have a fresh eye. We'll come back. Hello. So much for healthy living. Personal notes. That's dirty. There we go. Oh, we have some jewelry. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Money on the printer? Okay. There must be a way to 100% every level. There's got to be hidden cash and jewelry in every level in the game. What's down here? Dead end. Front door, I guess. Oh, there's one of the chairs. And there's a little bit of dirt on that. Hey, blood cleaned 100%. Not sure where the last... Oh, hello. So, totally what I was saying about the simulator earlier? 100%. 100% true. Oh, candles. We could be rich. Good old time. Now I have to deal with Jennifer's body. Okay. <laughs> I saw that earring and I was like, ooh, is that a quarter? I need it. Okay, things are looking a lot better. This is needing to move a little bit. Snap into position. That'll be 17 out of 18. And we need one more chair. Money. All right, I'm going to definitely miss some money. I'm going to definitely miss some uh, pearls. So if you see anything, you got to let me know down below. Be like, dude, 8 minutes, 19 seconds. There was a $100 bill. Benjamin Franklin, face up, uh, pointed 92.6 degrees away from you. Uh, it was perpendicular to the uh, apex of the uh, seventh pixel. You missed it, dude. <laughs> some of you are that observant. Some of you should be police. Or are. Hmm. <gasps> I'm taking this home. Uh, yes. Yes, we are. Okay, um, what else? I guess we're done here. Delete surveillance recordings. Now, he said surveillance room. So, is that... When we walked into this room, he said it. So, is it this? Oh, it is. Ah, CCTV, upper left corner. Manual hacking or brute force? Uh, manual? 7195. 
What am I supposed to do? Seven, one. Oh, I see. Oh, that's a cool mini game. Six, three, nine, seven. Oh, got to do that on the second pass. That's a cool mini game. That's a great hacking mini game. Uh, what do I do? Just delete everything, I think. Yeah. I guess we could have probably done it for the specific night to be less suspicious, but, uh, you know, hard drive ca crash. These, these things happen, okay? These things just happen. Oh, boy. Do we go upstairs or downstairs? First floor. Oh. Moving machinery. Oh, that's got to be the kids' room. I don't know. Um... Hmm. Joyful nihilism. Is that what makes this whole ride worthwhile? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know how the hell I'm going to repair that. Equip an axe. Wow, we have an axe? Wow, damn, this game goes in deep. This game is just... It, this, is, this is shocking, surprising... Way beyond. This go game goes way beyond anything. Your concerns were legit. Dad had an affair and fucked the whole family by accident. Uh, yep. I guess this will have to go in the trash. All right, let's get out the trash bag again. We also have a pressure washer. What's that for? A tool for larger stains. Oh, we can use that too. Oh, I could use that by the pool area. Limited water, though, I think. Actually, this is a good way to put all the trash in a, into a corner, too. So that would have been ideal for the pool. But you got to try all these things and see how they work. Otherwise, you don't know. And the uh, pressure washer, actually legit. A decent tool. I also like how we can put all the garbage bags together, so that way if we're on the second floor, we can just basically put everything together. Does this dude use a hatchet? As well? What is wrong with this guy? Oh. I'll, uh... Be out there in a second. Body hanging over the, uh, railing uh, on the, uh, second floor. Hmm. Any more trash? I don't think so. All right, evidence. Have a key. A hatchet will do. Boy. Okay. Now oh, this got to be wiped down. I'm gonna use the pressure washer in here. Interior design is my passion. Uh huh. Using mop here is pretty much as ineffective as mopping around. Okay. I gotta go back down and get my. Uh... Actually, how far can we go with the pressure washer? As in, like. Does the cord follow me into the room? Far? The cable? Oh, yeah. We had about six meters left. Wow, they thought of everything. Hell yeah, let's pressure wash those carpets. Okay, we can go fill this up. And where's that? Oh, there's a water source in here. Ah, there we go. Okay, let's try. Can I teleport the bucket to me? No. But I could do it with the power washer. <laughs> That's cool. Excuse me.
Nice. Oh. That's my bad. Ooh, you can actually break stuff. Uh-oh. I can't reach that. That's going to be evidence. Keep calm and live, laugh, love. Wow. I hate it. Keeping calm is the best I can do. There we go. All right. Looks good. Okay, we'll have to be careful with that pressure washer. What a cool thing that they even put it so that you could break that stuff. Very neat. Seems basically out of water again. Black handprints. Why? It's not blood, is it? Maybe it was makeup. Where does this go? Okay, everything looks all right. Let's go out on the patio. I need to be careful so she doesn't fall. Fuck. <laughs> damn it. Now we got to go clean the damn uh, area next to the pool again. All right. All part of the plan. Okay, this looks good. At least in this room. Now I'm going to have to get rid of trash, which is stuck back there. I hope I can uh, eventually reach that. Maybe I can somehow power wash that out of the corner. Going in for a secret plan. Damn. All right, we'll try again later. There we go. Perfect. This room's good. All right. On to this room, but let's clean out here first. I think I read that already. Get rid of the footprints. Those need a good scrubbing. More shell casings. Hmm. Well, looks good. Trash bag. Okay. Into the room. What do we have here? A compulsive gamer. Disgusting. He was streaming. Or she. Compulsive gamer. Oh boy. Alright. You know, something tells me this room was just like this before they got killed. so much blood let's uh oh boy i'm sorry just imagine playing some fps and ending up with a bullet in your head now that's what i call immersion yeah let's do this with that one too
That's fine. I'll get it. They didn't leave any blood, did they? Oh, a little bit. Okay. Time for more trash. <laughs> Is that cartons of milk? What a goober. That's the big bag. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it literally killed him. <gasps> Gamers, brace yourselves. Celestial Empire is an actual game. This this is like a legit game. So whoever's publishing or developing this game may be working on Celestial Empire. It's a like a Chinese city builder based on like ancient China. I like that. Damn, these games are cool. So these pizza boxes are fine then. Like we don't have to pick these up. Oh my god. That's a mess. Okay, uh, p pressure washer. Can, actually, can I trail the blood? Oh, those are my footprints if I walk through the blood. Oh, interesting. I thought that was that of the killer. I had no idea. Till just now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take that cassette. I can't pick this up. There we go. Alright, eight to equip the UV lamp. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can use my cleaner sense, but that that is a helpful tool. Is that a green screen? It looks like a speaker. Well, we'll rate their setup in a second. Uh, not like you have to have that great of a setup to like stream anyway, nowadays. Damn, I'm pretty good with this power washer. Okay. I need more water. Well, let's use the mop. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, we're going to need to use this on the chair. There we go. That's a lot of blood there. Much more than I think you would actually find, honestly, but I think it's there for the game purpose. Alright, drum set. Snare drums, cymbals, hi-hats. If I'm not careful, I might accidentally make a song and that could get me DMCA'd. I could be shut down. By Disney, who now co has copyrighted all sound. Don't question their power. What is this chair for? Oh, there. That's an uncomfortable chair, bro. Is this even clean? It will be if it lets me put it under the desk. Oh, yeah. It was clean. Okay. There's a back room. Oh, no. I hope I don't have to clean anything over there. Okay, one more thing. Oh, there. Was that a bottle of, like, Maker's Mark over in the corner? Or a bong? Well, there's a keg back here, and a baseball bat. Yeah, that was a speaker. Looks fine now. Uh, what the hell is that in there? Toilet paper? The hell? Here? Hmm. Does the green screen not have to be... That's kind of a weird angle. Okay, there's a little bit more blood. I should use a sponge. All right, all done. First floor cleaned. Okay. Bring the trash back down and I'll go get my bucket too.
All right, yeah, the swimming pool's all dirty again from those damn bodies, but, you know, it, it, it's it's whatever. Okay, well, we found, what, four bodies? There's two upstairs. One in the pool, one in the kitchen. So that means... Uh-oh. Jesus, that one was tortured. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh wow. As if one wasn't enough. Oh. A lot of stab wounds. Some drill marks. Easy to see it was deeply personal. So that must be Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh hi, Mark. Uh let's go back out to the pool. Well, there's another bag there, okay. Excuse me, wow, that, that is very low. You have to crouch to get in here. Oh my god. Can't really call it a soft landing. I'll be back for you guys, you just hang out. Now look at this, you're gonna bump your head on that. That can't be up to code, that's gonna be several violations. That That's the biggest crime so far in this game, is that <laughs> building code violation. Oh boy. Imagine if this was a workplace. OSHA would be all over this place. Like, seriously, like a Chinook full of OSHA officers would be, like, repelling. Okay, everything's good up here. I'm just doing a quick scan to make sure I didn't accidentally leave a little blood footprint here or there. And I'm going to need that. Our little cauldron. <laughs> With it bubbling like that, it's like a little cauldron. All right. And can we fill up with water? I'm going to go back upstairs. For our pressure washer. I know there's one here, so I'll just use this one. Okay, back into the house. So it's kind of nice that we got a combo of ways to clean. Like we have the, the sponge, the mop, and the power washer, which means you don't have to really like clean for too long. Or you won't run out. Anyway, so there's got to be some evidence down here, right? This was not a drill. <laughs> All right, pal. Collect evidence three out of five. Is there more evidence down here? Oh, what the hell's this? There's a secret room back here. Oh, is that a thing of money? Oh, what is this? Don't mind if I do. Wow, looks can be that deceiving. I think. Wait a minute. Are these euros? Or what the hell? They're a little too wide to be euros. <gasps> Look, yes. under all that fake money is actual totally money. Worth it. <laughs> all these Disneyland Monopoly dollars is actual American money, brother. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell Mark was doing with all this money down here, but horribly hidden. And like begging for somebody to steal it. Candy for breaking bones. Wow. Wow. More of the screws. Okay, good. We got everything. Uh, the drill bits, that is. Okay. Uh, dispose of the bodies. Leave the crime scene when you're ready. Well, I'm not ready. I had to dispose of some bodies and then. Do a little bit more cleanup. I did leave a little piece of trash upstairs, but you saw it. I tried to get it, but it wouldn't let me. So now i got to figure out how the hell to get rid of bodies and trash. So how do we do that? Let's see, is there some help? Hmm. Found a workshop key. Ah, here we are. How do we dispose of bodies? Let's see, actions, characters, body disposal. Wow, once you find a dead body, it should be removed from the crime scene. Pick it up and take it to your truck and throw it in the trunk. It should turn into a body bag. And what about for trash? Um, maybe the same. So we got to carry each one of these people there? 
Alright. And I gotta pick up the pool boy and the lady. I honestly thought we were gonna do something more horrible than just throw them in the back of the truck. The use of chemicals, for example. Alright, so how do we do this? Just throw? Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. <laughs> I hope we can do this with the trash. It would make sense to take it away from the crime scene and not like dispose of everything in a neat little evidence Hard pile for the police. Losing a child like that. All right. Back to the truck. Man, the tools in this game are cool though. The UV light. If you want to do it realistically, rather than using the cleaner sense, you can actually get out the UV light and make sure you got everything that way. The game gives you options, and that's cool. Alright, two more in the pool area. No, one more in the pool area. And a bunch to clean up again. Music's great. So uh, even though this is a dark tone for a game, I think this is a fantastic um, game for. I, I don't know. This is a great. This is a great idea. It combines uh, in a darker way all the games I had mentioned earlier, where Vasura Cleanup Simulator was a little more lighthearted. Um, you know, clean up after like an FPS. And Power Wash Sim is a little bit more on the fun side with friends. This is more of a. It feels like playing Hitman after you're done with Hitman, you know? Like Hitman Blood Money. Should have a little blood here, too, to clean up. Alright, just a couple more. I'm coming, truck. Alright. Alright. need to thank me. One more. Oh yeah. I always forget it's left, right. And I think this was the pool boy. Possibly. Okay, take photos in the swimming pool. Oh, we have to show that the crime scene is actually clean now. Okay, let me grab one of these bags. Or, well, I don't know. Let's go into the instructions. Is there something about throwing out trash? Ah, here we are, trash. Oh. You have to collect it in your garbage can. Yes, but what about the garbage bags? Tidying up the room, hacking, breaking objects, hmm, stealing. Oh, oh, oh. I work in mysterious ways. <laughs> I got excited. I'm sorry. I wanted to know if this would work. Oh, okay. Yeah, we just throw it in the truck. Cool. So it should say that then under that. That tool tip where it says, uh, you know, put it in the bag and then throw out the bags. I love that system. Okay. So two more bags. There does seem to be more trash. Oh, right. It's from that table. That that lady fell on. I wonder, would this game be good in co-op? Would it be too easy? Or would it be too fun? 
Hmm. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'd be uh, wanting to drive around with the pickup truck full of bodies and, and evidence. I mean, it, it couldn't be more easy for the police at that point. Interact. Oh, this is for the evidence. All right, pool's nice and clean. There you go. And the front door is nice and clean. Now we just got to break this down. Or wait, can I just put this in the trash can? Oh, we got to break it. We just punch it, right? Oh, nice. We can also use the axe. Oh, this is going to leave so many more things to clean up. Yeah, let's use the axe. There we go. I guess we have to punch it. Okay, trash can ready. Alright, let's clean up my mess again. <laughs> you can actually tip over when you use it. Gotta be careful with the wine glasses and stuff. Blood's at 97%. 98. got to be a little bit more blood from those bodies. This is the uh, real, f like, fine-tooth comb work now, where we've got to make sure there's not, like, any sort of uh, blood drops anywhere, especially in that pool area. That's 10 out of 10 on the trash. Now we're speed running. Kind of weird that there's not that we're leaving wine glasses and wine bottles here. You can tell there was a table. Right, let's see if there was any blood over here. There is. Nice. Okay. So as we go through the rooms, let's make sure it says everything's good. If it says no tasks, then we're good. Take photo of the first floor. So we're proving to that guy that the job is done. Although we didn't have to take one of the kitchen. Now we do. Okay. Leave the crime scene when you're ready. All right. I may have missed a few things, and I'm sure I missed some money, which you guys can probably go back and outline where I maybe miss something, um, but maybe the game won't count it in terms of uh, cleanup, but uh, let's see if we uh, are all done here. Hopefully so. I had fun, though. Deception. Blood 
Trash, 100%. Furniture, 100%. Ooh, a perfect score. <laughs> wow. Damn. This game is something else, man. This is well different than I expected. All right, this is just a prologue, by the way. Remember, you could download this on Steam if you want to, too, and, uh, you know, give it a try for free. You don't have to pay anything for the prologue, and if there's any future demos or prologues, you can go ahead and download it for yourself. This is great. Uh, feedback would be awesome. Keep trucking. There's some small minor things with, like, you know, being super, super detailed for, like, actual crime scene, like deception. But, I mean, it's a game, too. Nobody wants to go around with a toothbrush and try to clean under every single leg of a chair, do they? Yeah, me neither. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for leaving a like. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the super long play, too full game, I guess. It's a prologue, so. All right, goodbye. Take care.